As a hemp food processor, we produce uh, hemp seed with contracted growers across uh, the Canadian prairies. The hemp seed is then shipped to us here where it is cleaned and processed into a wide variety of hemp food products, including hemp seed oil, hulled hemp seed, toasted hemp seed, uh, shelled and roasted hemp seed, uh, and we also make a hemp coffee and we make hemp flowers and hemp protein powders. The, the growth of the industry uh, certainly is going to impact uh, on our own company. We've seen uh, growth from two people up to eight people in a matter of uh, seven years. But also there's offshoots and, and other uh, people along the value added chain are also going to benefit from this. The farmers are going to benefit because we're contracting more producers every year. Uh, the trucking companies benefit because we're shipping more product on a worldwide basis every year. Um, uh, companies that supply us with equipment, uh, supply us with services to do our job are all expanding and growing because of the business that we're doing in, uh, in exporting these products on a worldwide basis. Our products are uh, mainly exported uh, both to the United States as well as a number of other countries around the world now including uh, Mexico, uh, Korea, Japan, uh, we've exported to uh, South Africa, we've exported to quite a number of European countries including France, Germany, uh, Belgium, uh, Finland and uh, the United Kingdom. The number one country that we export to is the United States. Approximately 45 to 50 percent of our production goes stateside. The market right now in North America for, uh, for hemp products, in particular the food products, I would estimate to be in the, around the 10 million dollar a year range right now, uh, but that's growing at at least 20 percent per annum and uh, I would say that that growth will probably even double uh, in the next coming years. I think if you were to talk to any of the uh, retailers, either in Canada or the U.S., you would find uh, a consensus amongst them that this industry has been growing, their orders are increasing, and the consumer is certainly starting to buy these products on a regular basis. Here in this facility, we produce hemp seed oil, which is a cold press, cold filtered process that we apply to the hemp seed. The seeds are crushed and the nutritious oil that's contained within the hemp seed is then expelled. Uh, that oil is then filtered and uh, held in, in bulk uh, stainless steel reservoirs until such time that we're bottling, uh, barreling uh, or paling of the oil. Uh, the byproduct of crushing the seeds for oil is called hemp seed cake or meal. That meal is then taken, it's milled and sifted into a variety of hemp uh, flours and hemp protein powders. Uh, the other processes that we do in this facility is we hull the hemp seed, which is a process by which we remove the fibrous shell of the seed, exposing just the meat. The other processes that we complete here are toasting and roasting of seed for our hemp coffees and for exporting uh, toasted hemp seed to other value-added food manufacturers. Starting up uh, this business in Canada has been very beneficial for us. Obviously, number one, Canada had the foresight uh, and I give them a lot of kudos for recognizing the difference between industrial hemp and marijuana. Uh, in many countries in the world, the two are still lumped together and obviously that creates all kinds of problems with controlled substances uh, legislation. So in Canada, Health Canada recognized the difference uh, between hemp and marijuana. They re-legalized re the cultivation of industrial hemp in uh, March of 1998 and since then we've been able to freely grow under, uh, under a license in Canada, with Health Canada of course, under license to uh, produce these products and then process them into a wide variety of both hemp food, uh, body care products as well as industrial, uh, industrial type products. The industrial hemp program is, is all uh, handled by uh, Health Canada which would be equivalent to the FDA slash DEA in the US. Under the industrial hemp regulations in Canada we are required to test all of our crops as they're, uh, during the growing season. Uh, it requires a certified uh, inspector to go out and sample the uh, leaf and chaff matter from the crop. That is then sent into an approved lab that follows an approved Health Canada protocol for testing for THC. Uh, the maximum level of THC that can be found in any plants is 0.3%. And to put that in terms of how that would compare to marijuana, uh, marijuana would come in somewhere between 5 and 20% THC. The level of THC found in these hemp products is, is generally less than one part per million, which in terms of, of uh, volume there, there's probably more arsenic in your red wine, there's more mercury in your water, and there's definitely more opiates in the poppy seed bagel you ate this morning.